Good morning. It is great to be with you on this Tuesday. Wonderful, wonderful day to be alive. Amen. Uh, we have prayer going on right here and now online, and also we have it going on in the social hall today. So uh, still time to get there, uh, but we're going to be uh, rolling along here real quickly and uh, uh, going to share a few requests and share uh, devotion, have prayer. And uh, man, it's, it was hot yesterday. Very hot. It's going to be hot again today, and then it looks like we're going to cool off for a few days. Hopefully, we'll get some rain this evening, and uh, that'll help uh, help green things up again. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Hit like and share if you would, please, so we can get the word out. Thank you for those that have already uh, shared uh, and, and helped us already, uh, even before we get started. Thank you so much. So, uh, uh, as you as you can tell, Pastor is out this week, but uh, and I'm doing my best to to uh, fill that role of of uh, leading prayer and devotion, and and uh, I, I pray that something that I say this week can uh, can uh, minister to you and and uh, help you along your way. So, um, thank you for all that you do. Let's talk about Cameron today. Cameron, another devotion by my friend Cliff West. Every day on the way to work, Samantha stopped by Dunkin' Donuts for a muffin. Mmm. Cup of coffee and a good morning smile. Cameron, the drive through attendant, was the perfect person sent to begin your day. His genuine heart, courteous manner, and friendly service distinguished him from other fast food workers, and his smile was contagious. A smile is something that doesn't cost us anything at all. One routine Monday, Samantha stopped by the donut shop and was shocked to see Cameron's picture on a plastic bucket at the drive through They were collecting funds to help pay for his funeral. Although she didn't know him very well, Samantha decided to attend his memorial service. The church was packed and the sermon was heartfelt, but the impromptu speech by Cameron's dad caught everyone by surprise. The man rolled his wheelchair in front of the casket, whirled around and faced the congregation, both of his legs were missing. I hadn't planned on saying anything today, but I feel I must. My name is Frank. I'm Cameron Stad, for those of you who do not know. All the words spoken about my son today were true and beautiful, and I thank you. But I want to share what some of you may not know. Cameron had a hard life. When he was five years old, I divorced his mother and left town, so he never really had a father. Cameron thought I had left because of he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. He blamed himself for something that wasn't his fault. Years later, his mom had a bout of cancer. After her surgery, she couldn't work, so he became the sole breadwinner at age 14. He got a job stocking shelves because he, could, because he worked at night. He couldn't keep up his schoolwork and dropped out. But at 21, he got his GED, applied to college, and was accepted. That was the same month that I had my accident and lost my legs. My second wife left me, and I had nowhere to go. So I came back to home to live with Sheila and Cameron, complicating everything, as you can imagine. Sheila's cancer returned, and she died. So my son decided to stay home to take care of me instead of going to college. He worked at the donut shop by day and delivered pizzas by night. In addition to his other ailments, Cameron had nerve damage 
and his feet. Yet I never heard him complain. When I asked him how he kept his wits about him, he said he had learned to stay sweet in his spirit regardless of what, was, what he was going through. That's the key words in this whole thing. Staying sweet in your spirit. It was something that his mother had taught him during her battle with cancer. That's how she kept her chin up, by staying sweet in the spirit. As Cameron's condition worsened over the last few months, he taught me the same lesson by example. Despite hardships and accidents, sickness and pain, divorce and death, I can honestly say I have joy in my heart. I don't have legs, but I do have a smile, and that's because of Cameron. He smiled all the time. That didn't mean he didn't have problems. It meant he knew how to stay sweet in his spirit. What a tribute. A, a mother with cancer taught a boy with cystic fibrosis how to live with joy. And that boy shared it with everyone he met, including customers at the drive through The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8, verse 10. We don't realize the impact that we have as an individual upon everyone that we come around, that we see at the drive through that we see at the gas station, that we see at the grocery store, that we can smile and we can say, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. It just takes a few seconds to bring cheer to someone's heart. Many times I take pictures of flowers in my yard and I'll just post them on Facebook. I say, well, why do you do that? You just showing off your flowers? And maybe a little bit, but I'm hoping that that flower can bring a smile to someone's heart and that it can just help them along their way. We can stop and see the flowers, smell the flowers. It's all good. I pray that you have a wonderful day and that you uh, remember how what we said about Cameron. The next time you feel really frustrated God bless. So, let's talk about birthdays today. Yes, we're going to turn the corner here. Happy birthday to our first lady, Kathy Joyner. Kathy Joyner, happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying your week and uh, hope that you have a very special day today. So, uh, happy birthday to you. Um, that's all the birthdays that we have today. We got a couple uh, come the 30th. Uh, that's all we got right now. So uh, once again, happy birthday. If you have Kathy's number, you can text her a happy birthday. And I'm sure she would be glad to get those. So um, let's talk about our prayer list today. Uh, we got a few that are still on COVID. Daniel Creech is still showing positive, so we need to pray that God would just make that uh, positive uh, test go away so he can get on. He says he's feeling fine, and so uh, we're just believing that that's going to be the case, Daniel. So uh, also, uh, Betty Rutherford and Candy Dykes both are, are uh, have COVID, so we want to remember them with cancer. Debbie Armstrong, uh, Hudson Branch, Fenty Beasley, uh, Larry Best, Phyllis Carter, uh, Allison Clark, Jackie Day, Carrie Dowdy, Caroline Eckless, Wanda Eldridge, Tom Fiegel, Stephanie Felix, Charlene Harper, Phil Hurd, Calvin Hitchcock, Carolyn McBryant, Sheila Miracle, Zoe Niesler, Lauren DeBoa, Leslie Pageant, Billy Paramore, 
Uh, Speedy Paramore had a, a CT scan and should know something on the 5th of July. So we're believing for a good report. Uh, Linda Sanford, Carol Stallmaker, Gage Stubbs, Drew Suchton, Paxton Tucker, Jerry Williams, Norman Williamson, and June Womack. Recovering from surgery is uh, Jennifer Brazil and Scott Green is having his uh, pre-op on July 6th. So we want to remember him. And uh, also uh, April McDovey has, uh, has a prayer need that she has uh, requested for. So not sure what the particulars are on that, but we're just going to call it a April McDuffie special prayer request. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Brent Griffin, recovering from surgery or knee surgery. I'm sorry, knee surgery coming up. Linda B., recovering from pacemaker yesterday. I'm not sure how that went. Benji Hartman, uh, Jerry Ols, uh, Jimenez, grandfather his, had his uh, leg amputated, had a leg amputated. Uh, Susie Hollingsworth, Darren Hutchinson recovering from neck surgery, Janicia Stinscombe, and Brian Powell's son is, is having some eye issues, and I believe he's having an MRI to, uh, to check on that. Uh, on our general list, Susan Anglin, Terry Bagley, uh, Deborah Chambers, uh, Marcy Day, uh, uh, Steve Freeman, uh, Danny Gay, uh, needing prayer, uh, Desiree Gingrich, Amy Grist, uh, still needs our prayers, uh, Doris Harper, Gary Harris, Jeff Jerkins' parents with his mom falling, needs our prayers, Sherry Jasko, uh, Melanie Jones, Kathy Joyner with, with her back and stomach issues. I think she's got a procedure on August the 23rd, so we want to... Uh, be in prayer for her. Teresa McDuffie with her uh, eye situation. Uh, uh, Sydney McWhorter with poison. Uh, Debbie Melton, Brady Mims, uh, William Odom, Amanda Owens, Don Ringer, Troy Rowe, Carla Smith, Vanessa Stinchcomb, Patsy Sumner, Becky Sutton, uh, Jonathan Thurston for his... Uh, for his numbers to go up. Lisa Vanover uh, is, is doing good. Uh, Melanie Welch, Colette Westcott is home recovering, but still has a long ways to go. Patricia West, William Young, Ranson, and Angela Youngblood. So we want to uh, continue to remember uh, Jerry, Jerry Rowland's family, his brother Jimmy, passed away uh, yesterday, so we want to continue to remember them. The Nelson McWhorter family as well, we want to, to uh, pray for them. Also, as we, uh, as we get ready to close out, we want to remember our medical personnel, our nursing homes, our EMS, our law enforcement sheriff, and, and our police chief. And uh, we want to uh, continue to cover them, our, our city leadership, our mayor, uh, Mayor Jason Holt. We want to lift him up in prayer as he, uh, as he uh, leads this city. Uh, I'm sure that he has a table full of, uh, a plate full of issues that he is constantly dealing with. So we just pray that God's wisdom would... Uh, would guide him as he uh, directs our city because if God blesses him, then he blesses the city and we, we receive the blessings of, that, of, of his leadership. And we want to remember our nation. My goodness, we're, we're, in a, uh, we're in a cultural tug of war with so many issues that, uh, that, uh, that need God to help us with. Uh, remember the, the families of those uh, migrants that were in the, the trailer that passed away so horribly. 46, I believe, that died. I think there were about 100 in a, packed in a semi-trailer 
and just left in the heat and just suffocated. So, so horrible and tragic. Um, wow. It's just so sad. So, uh, remember our nation. We, we need, we need an, we need an awakening. We need to wake up. So uh, would you join with me in prayer this morning? Uh, it's a good day. God is blessing. He is with us. We're going to trust him through this storm. And we're going to come out victorious on the other side. Would you pray with me now? Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you, God, for today. Lord, your goodness and mercy abound. Lord, it was renewed this morning before I even woke up. There were new mercies there for me. So much to be thankful for. We have so many needs that need your touch, need your healing, need your comfort, need your protection. Lord, minister as only you can. Lord, let your love flow through our city. Touch our, touch our leadership, both uh, from, from Ben Hill County all the way up to Washington, D.C., Lord, I pray that you would help us, guide us through these storms. Lord, touch those that have lost loved ones and comfort them, Lord, in this hour. Lord, and we'll give you praise and thanks for it all. In Christ's name we pray, amen. God bless. I pray that you have a wonderful day. We'll see you back tomorrow.